Hi, Tech Row here again. Continue the um, MMU 2S build. And now we're going to move on to the pulley body assembly. And since it's a 36 step instruction, we'll be splitting it into two episodes. So this will be part one. And let's have a look at the instructions first and then continue with the actual parts. So here we see, so we're going to actually build up the whole uh, body assembly. So. so step two, pulley body parts preparation. So we find um, the plastic body and the um, flat nuts. There are ten of them needed. <laughs> and then we're going to be inserting the nuts into their appropriate locations. It's going to be fun. And then there's going to be some more nut. One more nut to put in. Okay. And then we're going to start with the pulley motor parts uh, preparation. Let's gather all those parts. The bearing and the motor. So we're going to use all the motors that are left in the motor kit basically. And then we need a piece of filament also. So make sure you, you get that. It's uh, whatever 1.75 filament you have lying around. So just take a bit of um, then there's this this is a tricky thing because I'm not doing an upgrade then you actually need to um, skip to step 9 so we start with this this section here so then you have, we are going to extend the axle no we're not going to extend we're going to put the actual um, pulley parts on the axle and that's going to be <laughs> quite a lot of them and then we're going to actually put it into the body so we'll handle that and then we need to actually adjust and align so this is an important phase so we get all these pulleys aligned and uh, we put in the PTFE folder um, holder, four screws, PTFE tubes, and then it's very important to actually say the one, get the ones that um, we have the um, correct machining of the PTFE part and put it in the, in here in the correct way. So this shows the assemble process. And then we're going to select the finder put that together put that the flat screws or flat nuts into place and put the copper um, bearings in into place and then we prepare the motor parts so the second motor this is the selector motor and then we put the nut assembly together and this will be part one then so anyway let's have a look at the parts then so here we have the actual parts and you need to take the pulley body which contains the plastic parts and then the pulley body that uh, bag that contains the hardware. And there's actually a smaller bag inside. So I distributed them over here. This one we were already assembled in the previous video, so you can check check on that. I'll put um, a card up. And then um, this is the new body. Uh, I would say bottom part. And then the appropriate plastic parts for that. To bearings, shafts, the new probe. This is a knife blade, so be careful with that. And then we have the obligatory <laughs> pile of nuts and screws and bearings and stuff. So that's what we're going to be using. So, you know, pretty easy to find in the bags provided. So, shouldn't be a big deal. So, let's see what we'll start with. Okay, now we're gonna have to put. Oh, 
He's not somewhere in this part. Oh, that's gonna be our job. Now, I should put it kind of like here. I think it would be the best viewing angle, I suppose. So, step two, that's just to prepare the parts. And then we will go to the first picture. Step three. So we need to put the oh, they can see actually it shows up on the camera, right? One, two, three, four. So let's try to put them in place. It looks like that has to go very deep. Is deep, so it's got to go right down to to the hole down there, and then make sure that it's orientated. So, let's put the next one in. two in the same slot. I don't know how we're going to get it up. That would be an interesting project. Get them out. Yeah. Oh, they go quite nicely in this. Ah. So. So now they're all in there bit of shininess. Okay, then we have to find the next, or take the next picture, and that is from this angle. And there's going to be three. So, so many, one in the, all oh, these are going to so fall out. And it's going to be one in here. Okay, that is tighter. Oh, push it down. like it's in the right position. Okay. Now well, let's say it's in. We'll soon find out when we try and put a screw in it. Well, I think it's okay. There. So that's one in place. Just a bit. Ah, ah it went through. So that's those three. See the glinting. Yeah. Can't get them all to glint at the same time. <laughs> at least you get the idea. Okay. And then I think it's the, probably the other side. So it's there and there. Check. It's 
This one's so a difficult. That's a glint. But it's in there. And the lights and coming from the wrong angle. But anyway, it's in in there. Okay, so that's done. To step six, and we need to pull some parts out. Okay, now we've got the new parts. So this is the um. Oh, let's see. Can get it. Oh, close. Pulley motor. And then we have some idlers, one, two, three, four, five idlers with the appropriate Allen wrench thing. And then four screws, 10 millimeter, and then one bear. And then a piece of filament. Oh. Did I miss something? No, I need to double check the part list. Okay. Well, it didn't say anything about collecting that. Aha, okay, one should take them now. Right, so. They weren't all in that initial list, of course. Okay. No. Sorry, did the mistake of looking at the upgrade part. So. Jump to section <laughs> step nine. Okay, I'm doing that. Uh, sorry about that. Okay, now. so now we should be in step nine. And we should take this motor. And we should orientate the leads. Like that, and then we should look for the edge. And we should have the edge up. So like that. And then what? Uh, 30 millimeters. Okay. Oh, I need some measurement here. This one, and it should be this way around. 
Okay. Screw. Just loosen it up a bit. There we go. And we need to make okay from the face of the motor. It should come out approximately 30. And these will be adjusted. So it doesn't have to be like super accurate. Okay. And then we tighten it down just a little tiny bit. Oh, I think it slipped. I'll have to check it. Is that good enough for the first? No. Oh, that's still very loose. Sliding on the axles, not too much. to put all the other idlers the same way around. And they don't need to be final tightened. So I'm going to put all these on and then tighten them up slightly. Okay, so that's done. The five pulleys here. Step 10. Let's see. So then we need this here. And it should be this way around. And the bearing should go in where? And it should go in there. No? It should go into a pocket there. Okay, how? How do we get it? Ow. It's supposed to get it in there, like flat. I'm having a bit of difficulty doing this. have a relatively flat surface. It's going to so I think that's tight enough in there. And then we're supposed to do what? Okay, now we should put the, the stepper in, something like this. Okay. And the cable should go this way. And then we should use the screws. First, <laughs> I 
how that alignment is not really correct. Not with 30. Oh, get it all screwed again. But they did say that it needs to be aligned up. Diagonal tightening. So. Ow, not again. I have to use the special Allen wrench to get in there. It's a fiddly thing about one. So I will just fiddle those in and tighten them diagonally. So, that's done. The air conditioning kicked in. It's Getting a bit hot in here. And then we have that. So that's um, those two screws in. And then these ones in there also now. And cross tightened. So let's see. What should we do next? we should adjust with the filament and I mean very hard to get a straight piece of filament but one should make sure that it's straight in at least like one dimension so it's not critical to have it in both but in one direction it should be relatively straight now one has to realize that filament when it's going through systems also is a bit bendable this one instead. So the idea is that we should start with the last one which is like super way off. Understand what they're uh, still crucial. We need to push the filament through the pulley body and the picture in the case the filament is bent, maybe not adjust the position of the pulley. Check again. It's still perpendicular to the flat surface. Okay, so basically, I'm what we do is we, we have to loosen up. Sure, we don't move it from the flat surface. Like that. I need to put the filament through and hold <laughs> and make sure you hold it like, like, oh, like so that it's straight at least and like through the there. So don't do it like with this the twisted side like that. So make sure, you, or you can alternatively do it like that. They did that, they showed that in the map, so that, that also worked, as long as it's just going straight. So I'm going to um, align all them up and tighten them down. And take your time with this, you know, it, it needs to be as straight as possible. Okay, so that's how you line them up, so that's what it looked like when I did it, so I think it should be okay. Okay. Uh, step 12 from PTFE holder parts preparation. So let's see what we can find for that. Okay, here we have the parts. So this block here. The PTFE tubes and the screws. And then, very important that, well, I have no idea how I'm going to show this, but, no, it shows quite well, actually. 
So that end is like that, and then the other end is kind of drilled out. Oh, so you can just see it. So if you take a magnifying glass and you look at both ends, you'll notice that one of them's treated. So one of them is a straight cut, and the other one is um, actually tapered in. So let's see. Moving on. Insert the PTFE tubes and the pulley all the way in the pro approximately half when the length should stick out. The chamfered end of the tube must be facing out. see it in the picture they make. Okay, but we will trust that it's the end that is being um, drilled out. So, I will position them in here very carefully. So I'm actually going to use a magnifying glass and check that I put the correct in, end in. So, here we go. I hope I got to the right way around. Double checked. I think I did. This one will go this way. Okay. That's actually trickier to put in than I thought. It would be. It's a quite a tight fit. Oh, no, it was actually turned. Worked very easy. I don't know why it was jamming when I was trying. Anyway, like that. It should sit on top of and then we need to screw it on with, with the screws. So that's what it should look like. So there's no no gap there. It seems to be well aligned. And then oh, you can't see through the oh you can, maybe you can see just through the tubes. a bit overly enthusiastic to be able to actually uh, but anyway you can probably look with your own eyes to see that I'd also just peek just to see that they were kind of can see some kind of a hole approximately through if you look up towards the uh, light or towards the light then you will actually see the light coming through so you just check that there, there's a channel that goes through there and it's approximately round, except that it gets a bit cut off by the idler. So, um, not a big deal. And then, so that was step 13. And then we're going to do 14. Very weird name. Select or find up parts preparation. Select or find up. That's it. Okay, so let's get something collect some stuff. So now we got the part. So it's six flat uh, nuts, one standard one, and then these two weird bearings, and then the actual plastic bit. So let's see. So then we need to orientate it. This way, and then we need to put two flat washers in their places. looking at okay so it's oh, okay it needs to go down there now I'm understanding so they won't want us to use a a long screw 
pull it on the end and then slide it all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> no, you probably can't. Uh, not possible to see really, but it's at the bottom. In there. At the bottom. So. So, then what's next? Then there are some more. Okay. Very strange. Okay, so one needs to go in there. And then they wanted one in in here at an angle. Okay, it's this one. I don't understand. It's supposed to go on an angle in. I don't really get it. Okay, it actually did go into place. But is it at an angle? Why did they sh Okay, you got it. I have to actually show this. See, it's very clearly indicating it should go in at an angle. Why? Because when you push it in, it ends up straight. I don't know. I'm just gonna have to leave it like that for now. <laughs> I really understand. We'll see. And then it's supposed to go in here. One there. Okay. Now then either we're... Yeah, we'll see if there's further instructions. There's six of those flat screws. Okay, let's see, maybe I missed one. Ah! I think I know the one I missed. So when it's standing like this, then there's one here. It needs to go in there. That's for the Pinda sensor to be held in place. Okay, so now we should have all of them in place. Uh, step 16. Be careful pressing these in for 
my gloves on and stuff. Well, actually, those went in quite easily. It was just I had to press them on the table, the hard table. So, so that was sixteen. Gather some more parts because it's step 17. Selector motor parts preparation. So here's the parts for the next. It's um, two axles, seven screws, and whoops, this plastic part and the motor. The last remaining motor. Let's see what we have to do now. Aha, okay, we have to unscrew, th unscrew the, that nut. So I'll just get that done. Okay, so now we need to um, take the nut and to put it on there. And to screw it in with two screws. Aha, that's the nut that's pushed down. Oh, that's gonna be a bit tricky. Let's see if I try and hold it. Let's see. No. Okay. I'm gonna have to use the long screw trick. It's my dog coming to say hello. Oh, I can at least reach the nut on it. It seems to be straight. Oh, I'll pull it close as I can. And let me try and use that 10 millimeter screw again. Hopefully it will take this time. Don't tell me I pushed it down. Ah. Oh, it's just not reaching it. Awful. Oh, and it says 10 millimeter. Okay. I'm going to have to try and pull the nut in further. Okay, so that went in. I had to actually pull it in with a, a longer screw. So, it's done. Uh, and then... So that's done. Good, good. Okay, so that's um, part one done. And um, it went quite well, I think. Um, can't really complain. Um, yeah. If you found this interesting and useful, consider subscribing. Um, hit the bell icon because there's going to be of course a part 2 and um, inform other people working on this you know, maybe they'd get some help from this to either get prepared for putting one together or, or follow at the same time and enjoy not Haribo time, we're not done so, yeah, see you in the next one